Jūrī Soklovs pēc spēles par Drīgā FC. Jūrī, tavs komentārs. Labvakar. Likums saka Rīgas FC uzvarā. Veiksme un Frenki Orols ļauj mums šodien uz kaut ko pretendent, bet kopumā laikam likums saka Rīgas rezultāts. Mēs neko nevaram izveidot uzbrukumā, līdz ar to zaudējām un gatavojamies nākamai spēlī. Cik liels pretnieku nopelns, ka neko neizveidojāt gan drīz neko vai arī tomēr arī paši jūtāt, ka kaut kas nestrādā? Nu, kā pateikt, nogulējam pirmos vārtus, līdz ar to kaut kāds stāvoklis mūsējais bija nepavisam optimāls, es nezinu kāpēc, risināsim. Bet jums taisnībā oponents šodien pārspēlē mums visur un kā rezultāts, galvenais rezultāts uz tablo. Proti, var teikt, ka emocionāli ietekmē tie ātri ielaist tie vārti kaut kā futbolsts? Es nezinu, varbūt kaut kur mēs treneri nelīdz galam nostrādājam, bet brīdinājam, viss kas noticis, mēs brīdinājam. Jā, laikam futbolisti neuzzirdēja mums, bet... Ko dariet? Jā, jau drīzumā nākamā spēlē ātrakt aizmirst šito rezultātu, šito spēlē un jāgatavojas priekš audei. Minēja, ka jau maiši būtu iestis pagaišu nedēļu pret Daugavpilu pendeli, būtu 2-0, būtu citādāk. Kā būtu, ja Galijāņins iesitu? Kā būtu, tā būtu. Galijāņins iesita, rezultāts ir 0-2. Tur ir kāda hierarhija pendeļu sitējiem? Nē, futbolisti paši pieņema lēmuma laukumā. Gādas, ko darīt. Otrā puslēka pašā sākumā maiņa, varbūt arī paskaidrot, kāpēc Milans nostipi? Nu, jūs redzēt, pirmais puslēks, Daškievič, vāzīja uz 100% Milanu. Mēs domājam jau puslēka izveidot maiņu. Bet pamēģinājumi izdarīt tā, ka viņš spēlē pa kreisi, Mihaļsovs pa labi. Un uzreiz otrā puslaika viens, divi epizodi mēs uzraudzējam, ka tālāk nav gatavs Milan spēlēt. Viņš līdz šim vispār bija kreisajā malā spēlēts? Nu nē, tas nebija nozīmē, ka viņš spēlē vai nespēlē. Mēs viņu vispār noņemam tālāk no Daškēviša un vīs. Nu arī nesanāca kreisajā malā. Vispār, kādas tev emocijas par Daškēviču, par Černam Ordiju, kurš tagad kapteins Rīgā izlasē par Daugavpils audzēkņiem, kuri ir daudz progresējuši mūsu atsa priekšā? Maliči, viņas dēļ Daugavpils vārds ir uz mūtēm visiem. Jā, apsveicu Antoņu ar ienakšanu šodien uz laukumu, ar vārtiem. Edziks arī malacis. Nu, simtsprocentīgi pavazīja Milanu. Ir redzams, ka šajā komandā viņi ir ļoti nozumīgi figūri. Kā raugies vispār tagad uz kalendāru, ka būs viens otrs izbraukums pēc kārtas pret spēcīgiem pretiniekiem? Cik daudz esat priecīgi par šādu scenāriju šobrīd? Nā, ko darīt? Kalendārs ir kalendārs. Tagad braucam uz mājām, mājos, rīt atjaunošana, brīvdiena un gatavojamies audei. Paldies! Paldies! Simo Valkari pēc spēles pret PFC Daugavpils coach festivalu jau komentabāt uz desmu maču. Thank you. I really enjoyed the game. It was good, good format. Two teams with a clear identity way of playing. Both teams knew what other team will try to do it. And as I said, I enjoyed a lot from our team. Very, very happy how we continue to do the right things, how we continue to be patient what we do it, score a goal, created many, many more chances, and then comes this moment, because we have a quality players, they can save us in some moments, as Nils Kuris as a goalkeeper, very important save, uh, save you know, just before the, before the half time, kept our clean sheet, kept us in the lead, then it's much easier to come Tiešām izbaudīju šo spēli, labs futbola mačs no abām komandām. Abas komandas 
ar skaidru spēles stilu un abas arī zināja, ko otru darīs. Esmu ļoti priecīgs, ka turpinājām darīt pareizās lietas, bijām pacietīgi, iesatām vārdus, bija vēl daudz iespējas un jāatzīmē, ka tiešām mums ir kvalitīvi spēlētāji un tādos momentos, kā Nils, tas ir Nila momentā, tas ir ļoti nozīmīgi atvairījums pirms pirmā puslaika noslēguma un attiecīgi mēs saglabājām vadību un otrajā jau tad bija vieglāk. If we look at the scoreline, we see Riga against Jelgava late second goal and now against Dagopos late second goal. Uh, how many difference you see with the, these two matches? Uh, not much. I, I see four games. We played very well. We created enough chances. And sometimes in football, it just takes more time to, you know, to get that second goal. Would it help us to get earlier the second goal? Of course. Of course, because then you don't need to play this much under pressure. But at the same time, our players, they are learning how to play under pressure now. And they are coping very well to play this one nil situation. They know when the slow came down. They know when you, we need to defend ugly. And when we can continue to learn these moments, we become a better team. At the same time, we need to remember we are creating so many chances, like um, first and second half that because the more goals will come, definitely. But as I said, it, that's part of football. Not every chance will go in, but you just need to do the right things and go there and they will come. During the match, there was no any good uh, breakaway, a counter-attack from Daugopols. That was the main goal to neutralize them. Yes, 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 of course. And as I said, it's two teams with a clear identity. And uh, I'm not surprised that Daugopols is so high on the table because, as I said, it, they have different variations. They can keep the ball a little bit. Keep the pass, and then they have always this threat. You know, they uh, front players. They are very, very dangerous. With the um, positional attacks, when they go one v one, all these transition moments. But as I said, it how how well our players handle it, very, very good. And it's not easy when you dominate at the half. You pass, you pass. We build up from from the deep as well. It's it's not easy, and that's why I'm so happy, pleased. Half-time substitution, Ivan Erkjaga for uh, Ravis Andris Jorkovskis. It's about uh, this yellow card that yes, Ivan had. Yes, 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 because uh, just to be on the safe side, Ivan was under the, um, yeah, under, under the yellow card. And playing against these transition teams, maybe you need to do some tactical foul or you need to do something to stop, stop the attack and maybe take the other yellow would have come. And that's why we put Jurko playing on the left and Jurko um, Short has played many games on the left as well, you know, that's his character, it's very, very good. How you feel about uh, Ivan Erkjaga? Because I remember that uh, before the season, uh, Roman Slajx on the interview said that Erkjaga will be the great player uh, after the injury. How now Erkjaga feels? We need to remember uh, he came from different culture. Very, very first day he settled in very well. He was the player, you can see his, from his eyes, you can feel his heart that he's here to win the things, playing for the team, then unfortunately, which is part of the football, big, big, it was very, very serious injury, what happened to him, and now he's working, he worked so hard, his rehabilitation with our great physios, he worked so hard to get back, but of course, when you are out, it takes time to get, you know, on your, on your level, but now it's a, just getting matches, getting, you know, knowing, getting, because this league is not easy, as we saw today, you know, you need to be top, top shape to, to, be, to play good in this league, it doesn't matter how good player you are, you, you, this is a tough league. During the preparation, you had the mindset that uh, it will be leaders fight, leaders match, uh, about Daugopas, because sometimes we see in this league that uh, Daugopas and other teams from, uh, bottom five, as we call as journalists, if we speak about budgets, and uh, also that uh, there is some lack of motivation in these, these matches. No, 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 because, okay, I start with the big picture. In this league, lack of motivation, it's good vibe. Teams will come and kick you. Five games already played. Daugavpils has done very, very many things right that they are there, as we saw, saw today. So, if you, you only can play, what's in front of you. And today it was uh, two top teams playing for the top of the table clash. We were lucky to play home, our home field, out front of our own fans. And, um, and what I like our players, it's every game, 
every game is a special occasion. Every game is an opportunity. And especially it's not easy when a lot of games come, come every three days. You start taking these games. Oh, okay, we need to play again. Oh, we need to play again. Then you go there a little bit, not prepared 100%. And then logic dynamics of football, it will kick your backside and you know, bad, bad things happen. A special question about uh, Eduard Daskevich. Yeah, we see that uh, he provides many dribbles, many spectacular uh, moves. Uh, but uh, how you as a coach, as a former player, how you see that uh, Eduard uh, can uh, improve uh, during his career? When he can play during his career? What's his potential? Uh, uh, as I said, I don't see any rules or limits how high he can go. But I said it to Edu himself as well. He reminds me... Phil Foden of Man City, when he came, you know, this first team, he wanted to do everything by his own, you know, do dribbling, showing, you know, his skills, things like that, not knowing yet when to go fast forward and when to take this pause and keep the ball moving and then moving again and get the ball. But we need to remember, Edu is a, Edu is a young boy. Most of the last season, I think he came as a substitution and it's a different role. You come last 20 minutes, then you need to come and change, you know, the change and put, you know, everything and maybe show the coach, you know, what you have. Now he has been starting the game, so he needs to learn this the rhythm of the game, tempo of the game, rhythm of the game, when to slow down, when to uh, speed it up, when to slow down, when to speed it up. But it's a good process. He's very eager to learn. He wants to learn. And I feel very, very happy what I've seen. As I said, he has special qualities. You know. Uh, after the last game, colleague asked about uh, the goalkeepers. Let's put it to the tactical way. Uh, how how is big the difference about uh, Purinch and Matric? Because uh, as we see that Purinch can play as uh, short passes and with legs, uh, how it helps to different uh, build up phase and uh, also. But the good thing is, you know, Matric he can play short and long passes. Uh, Sommer he can play short and long passes and. Uh, like today, Sommer was on the bench because Matrevic was feeling sick. So we are very lucky to have a three good goalkeepers. And we go, the players know, it doesn't matter that you played today, that you might play in three days' time. Because, as I said, opponent dictates a lot which type of players we, we do. And, uh, we recover now. We, we need to, it was a tough, tough game today to play these conditions, artificial. We need to recover well and then next game on Tuesday. Thank you. Thank you.